Hello, my lovelies. So I'm back and I've got some goodies for you. Um, I know my hair is curly. It was either go to the salon or send out the packages for the giveaways and I had to honor the giveaways. So I'm sending out the packages. <laughs> um, somebody told me to go ahead and put a donation link below, which I did. So if anybody does donate to the channel, 100% of the donations go towards buying giveaways and sending packages out. Uh, because yeah, I'm doing a giveaway every 25 subscribers. So if you guys didn't know, um, we are two subscribers away, which I'm pretty sure we're going to hit by the time this video comes out for the 350 subscriber giveaway, which is somewhere in the room. I think this, nope, that's not it. Anyways, it doesn't matter because that's not what we're here to talk about. So we already have a giveaway for 300 subscribers. That's already, the package has been labeled and the email has been sent because whenever I email anything priority mail. I also put the email of the person that I'm sending it to so they get a notification that it's gone out. Um, if it's going first class mail, that doesn't happen. And then, um, so we already have the LV Paisley, the LV inspired Paisley bag going to Melinda Hall. Then we have the sweater with the preppy nails going to Love Chunk 71. Then we have a pair of nails, Santa nails going to, I'm not saying it right, Musla Da Lady. I'm not saying it right. I'm sorry. Um, and then we're giving away the shoes to someone else. And I did inquire to some people to email me and give me their address and I'd send them some stuff, but they never did. So, well, then I'm not. <laughs> anyway, so next we're giving away, I'm going to get to what we're, what we're showing today. Just give me two minutes. Next, we're going to be giving away, I believe this at 475. It's an, uh, inspired clutch. A designer inspired clutch you can see what it is I'm not gonna say anything and it's just one big thing here one big pocket uh, you could literally just put like a credit card or money in there there is a crease in here but it doesn't show on the outside and you could wear it as a clutch you could wear it as a pocketbook you can put it underneath and put a rubber band on the actual chain so that it doesn't move up or you can put a knot in it you can make it short long longer crossbody or you can double it up and make it like a you know a shoulder bag. Whatever you guys want. This one I believe is $4.75. Um, then we have <laughs> I, I could crack myself up. We have the glitter nails that are also coming up. And that's these nails. If you guys want them, they're perfect for um Fourth of July. I think they're so beautiful. This camera is much better than the other one. I think I'm going to start using this camera. Let me guys know. I think this is high quality because you can't even tell what the other ones are. So this one is really, really nice. I love these nails. I actually cut them so that they're square because I prefer square. Then we have a bunch of other things like a pair of sunglasses. Um, keep an eye out for that. And then the coach bag. I'm giving away a vintage coach hobo bag at $1,500. Uh, a couple of others. I have some other pocketbooks that are vintage designer that I'm giving away at like 5,000, 10,000, but we'll get to that as we approach the numbers. Right now we're getting to 350. So let's get to the, what I just got today. So I bought some stuff on Amazon and Walmart and I'll put the links below. Um, this is really hard to open. I don't like ripping the box, but I, I, I seriously cannot open it. Oh, okay. So I bought I have another pair of sunglasses that look like Celine. So then I saw these and I was like, you know what? I think these were like two for $14. I was like, screw it. And it's these, which everybody was wearing all last year. Super cute. I'm waiting for my hair to get bigger. It's still drying, but these are super cute. The thing is that they don't say Celine right here and the Celine ones say Celine. So people are going to know they're not real. Even though you take it out of a Celine case, it's supposed to say Celine right there next to the three dots. And it doesn't. Just so you guys know. But a lot of people are like, look, it has the three dots and the three dots. And no, sweetie. <laughs> as much as I love you and I know you want to feel like they're the bomb. It looks cute with your hair up. I usually have my hair straight only in the winter. Because it's just, I don't want to walk around with wet hair and get sick. And in the summer, my hair is always curly because it just won't stay straight for more than a few hours. So usually it's supposed to be like, like this big. You'll see another video, but it's these pair, which I think are super cute. 
I would not wear these around my rich friends because they will know they're fake. I have a lot of real sunglasses that I would wear around them. But if I'm traveling or I'm going somewhere to like, I usually wear stuff like this to beaches, festivals, or travel when they're not real. But these are super cute. I actually do like these the way they look. And sometimes I'll buy stuff like this to see if I like it and then I'll get the real one. Yeah, I was like, does it say it? No, it doesn't. Let me show you the other pair. The reason I got these is because my brother's girlfriend really likes the shape. And I got her a pair of Ferragamo glasses for Christmas that I got on Walmart.com. Yes, you can buy name brand glasses that are returns. Oh, this looks actually better. This is one that I was going to give her, but this looks cute on me. <laughs> Well, there's a dilemma there. I might be keeping both of these. I don't normally like black on black sunglasses. I like them to have an ombre effect 99% of the time. I'm really not into, but these actually do look cute. Like I was wondering like, why is everybody making such a big deal out of these glasses? And it's because they look good on everybody. These actually look cute. Damn it. I did not want to keep them. I think I'm going to keep them. They have another pair of glasses that look like the Celine ones. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Or maybe these were $6.99, I think. No, I think these were 13 These might be the ones that are 6 I don't know. I'll send you the link. Either they were $13.99 for two or $6.99. Because there was one that I was like, $6.99? I think these wouldn't... I don't know. I'll tell you right now. I have my phone right here. All right, let's go look at it together. And then I'll show you. Amazon... Here we go, orders. Deliver today. $13.99, I thought so. It looks like this. The black, I mean, they have a bunch of color combos, like you can even do this one. Black and orange. You, you'll see when you click on the link, but yeah, it was $13.99. Let me show you the ones that were $6.99, because I was like, $6.99? That's not a bad deal for two pairs of sunglasses. But they were like the cat eye ones. I'm not a big fan of those. But if you guys are looking for it, they have them for $6.99. I'll see if I can put the link down. I thought that was a good price, and these are the kind of glasses that look good on her. And I kind of really like, let me just show you the picture real quick. Like some of these people look actually cute. Like these are the reviews and they look good on people. But for $6.99, that's not a bad price. You know, it's not my shape. I'm not going to get them. I'm not throwing money away. If I did get them, I would get them to give them to you guys. Because <laughs> I know there's people out there that like that, you know, like they like that shape and it looks good on them. I don't think it's going to look good on me, but I didn't think these were going to look good on me either. And then I was like, wait a minute, <laughs> wait a minute. Oh, these are really freaking cute. Why do they have to look good? I did not want to keep these. Damn. Maybe I don't like the other ones. What do you guys think? Should I keep this one or not? So now we're going to go over the chains that I got because I'm really into the chain thing. Yeah, this, these didn't really look as good on me as I thought they were going to look good on, right? The black ones look better. Give me your feedback. Do you like these better or the black ones? Because I might actually give these to my brother's girlfriend then. These are kind of cute. Or I might do these as a giveaway because I don't think they look that great on me. But then maybe they'll look good with my hair straight, which I doubt. But I like this ombre thing, like, a lot. Yeah, I'm not feeling it. They're not horrible. You know what that means, right? If you've been watching my channel. They're not horrible. I just don't love them. Alright, so now let's get into the chain. Well, might as well keep let's keep the black pair out because the black pair look better. So now there are these chains, and then that's all I have to show you guys. Um the chains oh, go on the sunglasses and I've been like obsessed seriously 
with the chains because when I went to the, oh, you guys don't know. Okay, so I, I went to the, um, I'm gonna have to mention this in another video too. The Americana Mall, they have this Champions for Charity event and it's on my Instagram. So if you wanna see the things that I saw and kind of like what the event was like, I don't know if I have anything about the event, but I mean, I think I have pictures of me and the DJ. She's like a world renowned DJ. And then I have pictures of Gucci, Fend, no, Gucci, Louis Vuitton, and I think Hermes. And you guys can see the pictures there on the Instagram. The link will be below. So I got these because I couldn't help it. They're not metal, they're plastic. They're very much like the Bottega Veneta dumpling bag plastic. And they look like this. <laughs> because I like that gaudy shit. Oh, stop. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Okay. So, let's look at these bad boys. This, I think, would look better with silver chain because it has the silver things. So, this is what the glasses look like without it. I don't even think I like these, to be honest. I think I like them for like a second, and then I don't like them anymore. When I love a pair of glasses, I love it. There's no ifs, ands, or buts. If I don't love it, I'm not like... Ugh, word. Hold on. Oh, this ring thing. There you go, finally. Oh, well, you can't really. It's, I'm not going to untie it until I'm sure that I want them. So they look like this. And when you wear them, they look like this. And they look really cute on the model in the picture. And you'll see it when you click the link. But I don't know if these are for me. I feel like this might be just a little bit too much for me, which I never say. Because I like crazy, wild, out there, look at me, what is she wearing kind of stuff. This is very Moschino to me. So maybe I would wear this if I wear like my Moschino jewelry and my Moschino backpack because this looks to me like very Moschino. Moschino is a little gaudy in a very high fashion sense. So tell me what you guys think of this one. I know it looks weird because I have the plastic on there, but I don't want to take it off until I'm certain I'm keeping them because it's not even metal and it doesn't look like it's going to stay. Well, maybe if I put the band on, hold on. Like it's going to stay recto, straight. Well, I guess so, because you see, if I had them on correctly, they would stay straight. But they're clearly not metal. They're clearly plastic. This is the same kind of plastic they have for the, uh, the dumpling bag, which I had. I'm also doing a giveaway on that too. So the next ones were these. Don't know if I don't. And I'm, I'm, I'm trying to keep this under 20 minutes because I don't want to. It's supposed to be 10 of them in here. And I guess they come like this. These are totally going to tarnish and not last forever. Because, I mean, there's no way you get 10 of them. These are nice. <laughs> I was like, mm. what you talking about, Willis? Okay, so the reason I like these. Let me see if I can get this one out. Okay, fine. We're going to open it. I don't care. Because I'm clearly not returning these. Okay. The reason I like these is you could use these for your masks. Um, and you could, because they have the little clips. So they have a clip. And then they have that sunglass thing. I'm not excited about the clips. You could even just wear this as a necklace, to be quite honest, and get 10 necklaces. For this price, which is ridiculous. They have the Figaro chain which is what Gucci's using right now, but the, the Gucci one has seven of these little links in between one big link. So it's not exactly the same, but if you put these on your Gucci earrings, I actually bought some of the actual chains. That would be cool, but these are also great for your masks, you know? 
So they have this one, which is the Figaro. Figaro, 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 Figaro. And you have this one, which is the snake. No, it's not called this. Is it the snake? Something like that. Right now my brain is like farting and I don't remember. This is the twisted chain. So yeah, you can actually wear these as necklaces. If you wanted to. Uh, these are really pretty. Or you can put them on your glasses. Like so. Let me illustrate to you the glasses. I'm doing the... Wow. I'm saying that because these glasses are very wide on the side, so they stretch out the rubber. So I don't feel like if you put them on these glasses, you're going to be able to... I mean, there, there is this adjuster here, so you, you push it up and down. But this is what it would look like if you were just to wear them the way that they're expected to be worn. I really wish my hair was straight because I look so different when I make videos with my hair straight than with my hair curly. And then if you wanted to wear it like that, you can do that. Some people are doing that. And then you take your sunglasses, you could put them down. You can use these for your reading glasses, which is what I was really thinking about doing. Because um, I'm really getting tired of opening and closing my case. I'm at that age where I can't see anything small anymore on any bottles. I can't. I need reading glasses. So, I don't like that this kind of got twisted, but that's probably from packaging. I really do like this twisted one. There's 10 of them. This one I'm really not in love with. It's not bad. I just don't love the pattern. I've never liked this chain. Is it ugly? No. Would I give this away? Yeah. I might do a giveaway on this. You know, but it, I don't love it, so I might use it for, like, my mask. You know, like, when you have your mask, and then you don't want to keep putting your mask on and off for the mask. Do I have any? Of course I don't, because I'm making a video, and I want a mask. But I'm at home. Why would I need a mask? Anyway, you know, the mask. And you just clip it on, and then you can take your mask off, or leave it around your neck, and when you need it, you can just put it on. <laughs> I like this one for the mask, yeah. This one is another one. I'm not a big fan of these simple chains. This one looks like a dog tag material, like the dog tag chain. This is just a plain chain. I probably won't keep this one. I might do a giveaway on this one. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just, I know myself in my style. I say that, right? And then you look and then Celine has this one or something. They don't. The, the only one that I know of for sure is Gucci that has the Figaro. This is like technically kind of like a Figaro, but it's just a shorter one, but it's not a Figaro. Figaro has to have separation in between them. Then you have these, which I actually like these. These were on a lot of models and I thought that they looked really cute. The bead in between. So let me put that here. And then there was this one, which is also another common chain. So these are like the chains that you find in like DH gate bags and stuff like that. I'm keeping those separate from the ones that I know I'm definitely keeping. This is almost like a Cuban link. And I think that's all of them. Yeah, my favorite was this one. Because I haven't seen that yet. I really like this one, even though I would never wear this chain. There's nothing wrong with the chain. I just never liked it as a kid growing up, even when I went and my first job was at like a jewelry store. And, um, it's bent though. That bothers me. I like that one. Let me know what you guys think of this one. Should I keep it or should I trash it? I do think this would be kind of cool with mosquito. I have mosquito glasses. Um... But they're, they're not like anything wild. I mean, just the side, like the, the arm of the leg is wild and crazy. But the actual glasses aren't that wild and crazy. But I think this would look good on this one. Yeah, that's what I got for you guys. I'm going to keep it under 20 minutes. And I got 30 seconds, 15 seconds left. So I'm going to go now. <laughs>
All right, until next time, my honey bunnies, my baby babies, my cutie patooties with the little booties, tell me what you want in the comment section. Bye.